tonight we're following up on plans to possibly close several schools in a local school district. The Poudre School District says they need to consider some tough options amid low enrollment and budget cuts. Well, today updated closure plans were released for the school board to consider. And Daniel Croyder has been following these changes and joins us in the studio tonight. Daniel. Yeah, guys, the district insists nothing is set in stone just yet, but there is something significant in these latest round of proposals. No matter which recommendation you look at, the same three schools are proposed to close. That's Beatty and Johnson Elementary Schools and Blevins Middle School. Our community really came together saying that we don't want to just save Cash Pooter. We don't want to just save any of the schools. We want to save them all. Parents across the Pooter School District have been bracing for this, the latest revisions to plans on how to balance the district's budget. Just over a five-year period already, we've seen a decline in about 1,200 students, um, and that's in our 100% choice and neighborhood schools. And so we have a funding reality to look at. A committee released the first round of recommendations suggesting the closure of several schools. The revised suggestions include impacts on different schools across the district. However, regardless of which plan you look at, three specific schools are on the chopping block in each plan. The proposals have not been approved by the board yet, but any recommendation so far would close Beatty Elementary School, sending students to nearby Bennett and Lopez Elementaries. Blevins Middle School would close, Students would go to Lincoln or Weber Middle Schools. And Johnson Elementary School would close with students heading to Olander and McGraw Elementaries. At a public hearing last month, parents urged the district to keep those schools open. Beatty is where she thrives. I'm sorry, I'm getting emotional. Beatty cannot be consolidated. Beatty's co-teaching program is connected to the physical layout of the building. Now you would only have Weber as the feed, feeder school for Rocky Mountain High if you take Blevins away. The committee that drafted the options say they took a look at schools that are being utilized under 70 percent, those enrollment numbers, and the distance other schools were to those locations. According to this map released by the district, those three schools ranged from the high 40s to 60 percent. While we would you know, love to have every school open and operating the same way it is at all times, you know, many years to come. Unfortunately, the reality is that when you have lower funding, it means that it's harder to maintain staffing and programming. The public feedback period is open right now. We do have a full breakdown of the lengthy proposals on Denver7.com and a link to the district's questionnaire. The board is expected to make their final decision on June 11th. Reporting in the studio, I'm Danielle Kreuter, Denver 7. Taking a closer look, Poudre School District cites low enrollment for wanting to close those schools. A number of schools in the state's largest districts have closed in recent years for the same reason. Just last year, Denver Public Schools voted to close three schools. In Jeffco, nearly two dozen schools have closed since 2021. It's a statewide issue. In digging into state data, enrollment has been dropping over the last five years. In 2019, enrollment for pre-K through 12th grade reached an all-time high that decade, with more than 913,000 students enrolled. At the start of this school year, enrollment was at 881,000, according to the Colorado Department of Education. That's nearly 2,000 fewer students than the year before. 